Let us build a house where love can dwell and all can safely In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, welcome to our Mass today. Let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Amaziah, priest of Bethel, said to Amos, Off with you, visionary, flee to the land of Judah. There earn your bread by prophesying, but never again prophesy in Bethel, for it is the king's sanctuary and a royal temple. Amos answered Amaziah, I was no prophet, nor have I belonged to a company of prophets. I was a shepherd, and a dresser of sycamores. The Lord took me from following the flock and said to me, Go, prophesy to my people, Israel. The word of the Lord. God. 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. In him we have redemption by his blood, the forgiveness of transgressions, in accord with the riches of his grace that he lavished upon us. In all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will in accord with his favor, that he set forth in him as a plan for the fullness of times, to sum up all things in Christ, in heaven and on earth. In him we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. In him you also, who have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and have believed in him, were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, which is the first installment of our inheritance toward redemption as God's possession to the praise of his glory. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned the 12 and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. He said to them, Wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave. Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and preached repentance. 
the twelve drove out many demons, and they anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are a Eucharistic community. We thrive spiritually on the Word of God and especially on the body and blood of Jesus Christ. In his letter to the Ephesians, St. Paul tells us that through Jesus, through the Eucharist, we are blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavens and called to be holy and without blemish before God our Father. We are called to serve the church, to minister to each other, to lives of prayer and faithfulness. But in order to celebrate the Eucharist, we need priests. I think we all know that there is a shortage of priests and it is gonna get worse. A couple of weeks ago, on his last weekend here, Father Guillermo stepped in front of the altar and took off his shoes and asked, who will fill these shoes? A legitimate question. God is still calling men to the priesthood in just the same way that Jesus summoned the 12 men and sent them out, giving them authority to preach and heal. The authority that Jesus gave them, the apostles handed down to the first bishops and those bishops to the next bishops on down through the ages right up to the present time in our own Bishop Zinkola. This is called apostolic succession. The bishops share that authority with their priests and a little with deacons by granting them faculties. For example, most deacons and priests, like most deacons and priests, Deacon Dale and I have the faculty to preach. So I would like to take a little advantage of that faculty and talk about another gospel story for a moment, the story of Bartimaeus a story I think we've all heard a few times. Blind Bartimaeus sat by the side of the road begging. When he heard that Jesus was about to pass by, he started calling out to Jesus. But many around him told him to keep quiet, not to bother the Lord. These voices are like the world all around us. They discourage us from seeking Jesus. They discourage those who are being called to the priestly vocations. But Bartimaeus did not give up. And when Jesus did call him, Bartimaeus did nothing until a few faithful voices encouraged him. Take courage, get up, he is calling you, they said. And Bartimaeus responded to this encouragement. He threw aside his cloak, sprang up, and came to Jesus. Throwing aside his cloak is likened to the apostles leaving most of their possessions behind when Jesus sent them out. And like the sacrifice of throwing aside worldly possessions that those who are called to the priesthood make. For our part, we need to be those voices of encouragement. We need to encourage and pray for those who are discerning a call to the priesthood. For the most part, Jesus will do the inviting. Pope Francis said, there are many ways to be called to the priesthood, but they all start with a personal invitation from Jesus. We need priests to lead us, priests who will model for us the holiness that we are called to. And we need transitional, transitional deacons like Deacon Mallory to give us hope hope for newly ordained priests, hope that the church is thriving and will continue to thrive, hope that we will always have priests like Father Sia to bring us the Eucharist and celebrate the sacraments with us. The whole church needs to pray for vocations to the priesthood, but you who are here at Mass, either in person or virtually, you are the prayer warriors of this day, powerful prayer warriors. Your prayers and encouragement can make such a difference. At Mass this past Tuesday, we heard Jesus talk about the harvest being plentiful, but the laborers being few. So please make praying for vocations to the priesthood a priority of your prayer life. Ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. This Eucharistic community is counting on you. Now together, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We trust in God's providence, so we turn to him now and offer our prayers. For the church, may the Lord guide and strengthen our leaders as they share the good news through their words and service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For first responders, may they have the protection of St. Michael as they serve, protect, and heal. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer from any form of addiction, May the Holy Spirit guide them on a path of recovery and give them strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the youth in this faith community, may they grow ever deeper in their faith and desire for the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they be received in the merciful embrace of our God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Nadine Hammond, Rosemary Lyons, and for the parish, all of which we remember in a special way at this Mass, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the personal prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we offer you these prayers and we trust that you will grant them according to your will. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, might, to the praise of your manifold wisdom, be manifest as the church. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ, May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Patrick, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that, bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you.